Here we are again for the last part of the pod series. This time I will bring to you the advanced werewolf gameplay. Uh, I took a little time off in the meantime. The game was recorded in March already, but uh, I was pretty lazy admittedly, but I also was ill, so I have a bit of an excuse because I lost my voice. And now that it's back, I'm glad to jump right into it. So we have a seven player lobby this time, but this doesn't make much of a difference. Uh, in fact, if the 8th player would have been just some newish guy, it is actually an advantage for me as the werewolf. And what really matters is how many competent players you have. So, I want to be werewolf, of course, and I will also get it, you can tell already, because it's the advanced werewolf guide. And I pull up the alliances tab quickly, just to show you who's here. And uh, the people who we have here is Covenant, who plays pretty decently, and Lily Black, who is uh, one of the highest caliber of players you will meet. So this is going to be the main adversary, so to say. Uh, Karasan, I don't really know. Uh, Soul Siren, I know. Uh, it's not a very strong player, but a really cool guy overall. I like playing with him. And Deal Map, who's also a decent player, similar to Covenant. So we have two good guys, one very strong player, one of the strongest players, and um, like three uh, weaker players. Lily is always typing hunting and fishing in the beginning of the game. I think this is to uh, give a hint to new players, but I'm not really sure actually. So the starting position is close to the top mines. But as a werewolf, I don't really want to take those top mines because uh, it's always a busy place. So I think I go for the same place here that I used uh, in the advanced villager guide. Um, arguably nowadays I would actually pick a different spot, maybe something a bit more to the right, which is more secluded. And a bit less of a tell, uh, because nowadays people also know that I like basing up here. Uh, so it's more of a giveaway But here I still did it and it's still a strong spot. You still have all those early game goodies Going for the six wheat seeds here. Now we find the price poor already Actually, if I played it perfectly, I would have had to check very quickly uh, Right here at the top just to see if the price board was there because he could be there and if he is there and I didn't check it and I walk down the entire passage and don't find him, then my early game plan is already a bit hurt, so I'm glad that this blunder didn't happen to me. So yeah, this is very important to ally the animals right now, uh, because otherwise all of your uh, other players will get a signal that uh, our ally space is under attack here, and this will already ping my location, which is very bad. So I have to be aware of that. Okay, so we start. Uh, picking the candlest brush here, going for a similar setup as last time. Since I didn't have any early game gold, I sell it so that I can start producing the two lumber tracks. Now we go into the grain silo. I might jump ahead a little bit here. You already know how this works from the advanced um, villager guide. So now we go into the dock quickly and we stutter step the boar a little bit to get a good early game advantage. And now we kill it very early. Now to the good players, this might already be a giveaway that I'm basing somewhere up here. Uh, but for those 900 gold, I think that's okay. Uh, even if they are going to uh, find my base and attack it later on. As a werewolf, uh, you can also spread your buildings across the entire base. Especially when they get the hint that it's you early on. Now, luckily I find no uh, 200 gold here. Oh, that's a pity in fact. But I have the Sutler, and I get one wood alcohol and one uh, jasmine. The jasmine just for the speed potion, sub survivability, and the wood alcohol wouldn't actually be necessary so early. But I got it anyways, just in case somebody wants to mess with me early on. Uh, and it's also nice to have it. Most likely it's nice to have, that's why I got it. But not super important. Getting the jasmine here is more important, I think. Now dusk is upon us, and we have our early game goals met, which is get the farm up, get your dog, and get bait on the dog. We might not have bait yet, but we have uh, 488 gold, so that's no problem. So we can bait right away. 
And now hopefully a lot of animals will come nearby. And now uh, I tried to keep my dog close, but not too close. You know this already from the advanced, uh, from the basic werewolf guide. Same thing applies here. We will just execute it a bit more smoothly. Oh, I will. I run into Lily Black right away. Uh, I think she already knows that it's me because my dog is here. That was. Uh, yeah, that was this right at the beginning of the night, which is a bit unfortunate. So now I can just as well play as if they know that I'm werewolf. So adapt your play accordingly. That was a bit unfortunate, but happens sometimes. So yeah, uh, you just keep on walking and then you bait at a place which is out of range of the current bait, because this would be waste. And now with the dog, you can pick up some uh, animals but not too many. The main focus should be for the werewolf to farm up, at least in this gameplay that I'm... Uh, or in this strategy that I'm playing here. But you can also uh, let the dog get a lot of hits. It's not that big of a deal. Now, I'm not caring much for a covenant here because, yeah, Lily already knows that I'm the wolf. And it's kind of the only thing that matters. Uh, he didn't say anything. Not sure if he saw my dog. Oh yes, there we go. So, yeah, that's a bit unfortunate. It's halfway through the first night and they already know I'm the wolf. But yeah, uh, shit happens. Now, uh, I told you not to go for Obiron because this would give away that you're the wolf. However, uh, since I already gave it away, I might just as well go for Obiron now and collect some more early game boost to try and make a stronger attack. Uh, I keep the boar pelt up here because my inventory is full, but I hope I'm going to collect it afterwards. I'll finding the second one here. So that's quite bountiful what we find. Very nice. And now I can go into Obiron. Oh boy. Soul Siren already pinging my base down. So they're not making it easy for me here. That's gonna be a good precondition for a good guide, I think. Because I will really have to play it good. Uh, I already sent my pack horse away, so this is uh, where I will most likely build my warehouse in the second day, so that everything they find up here is just a windmill, eh, uh, just a grain silo and some lumberjacks. So now I got the last hit on Obiron, which is nice. We already have level 6, so now I can quickly smell, and I see, aha, one is at the top mine, two are at the bottom mine, one is fishing southeast lake. And this is about as much information as I can process. The other two I'm not trying to keep in mind. Now this was a very good first night, <laughs> even though I was caught already, arguably this was very bad. Uh, but just in terms of how much I got done, this was a very good night. It was also a bit uh, reckless of how I played because the dog was uh, too close to my werewolf. But you know, that's just how it goes. Now we transform back and the... Um, the bait is still in effect, so a lot of animals keep streaming in. Uh, so that is some very, very good gold boost. And I hope I remember uh, that I put some... Ah, here I'm making the... Yeah, that's a good location. So uh, south of the middle castle, I'm making the grain silo now. And if I did play good, then my pack horse should have a canopy tent. Because I need some place to sell my crops to. I hope I put the canopy tent on the... Ah, I didn't. So now, now I send it up to the bestiary to get that canopy tent and then I will send it back down. Now it could get intercepted in the meantime because they know already I'm wolf. Uh, so this is very risky. But uh, that's just how it is. Now since I have so much gold, I can uh, plant some of the more expensive crops already because I have to focus on many things at once. Having the Scarecrow as Werewolf is nice, but it's not as much of a priority as it is for a villager. Uh, getting a strong army, generally speaking, is more important. So use your APM uh, more wisely. If you have all of the APM in the world, go for the cheap crops as well. Now we are up here, getting the canopy tent. This is just so that I can sell the crops right here. Uh, and this would only be possible to the grain silo or to the... Uh, farm and uh, also to the lighthouse I think but uh, since the other two buildings are up there and I don't want to just kill them uh, I will just replant uh, canopy tent and use it as like a cell spot 
Now what I'm doing is I go into army very very early in this sort of strategy and I do this when there is one uh, super strong player in the lobby and then I'm trying to prepare a strong attack uh, at the beginning of night 2 and I'm trying to overwhelm him with that attack. Uh, it doesn't necessarily kill that player but if it throws him back significantly, that's worth it already. So this is what I'm aiming for here. I'm trying to ramp up a lot of archers, get them some of the important upgrades. Uh, I want one of each, uh, preferably. And perhaps even upgrade the tier. If I get like 10 or 12 tier 2 archers, which have one of the three upgrades each, uh, this is going to be very promising. Oh, now I'm even getting the cauldron. And putting one of the candlest brush aside, very nice. And now the pack horse can keep farming. While the dog, I think, is looking for the third boar pelt. I remember in the advanced villager guide, I just didn't get it for an eternity, which was so bad. So I'm glad I got it now. So yeah, the stars really seem to align here. Uh, no one attacked my base on top yet, even though they know it's there. I'm getting a Molotov cocktail uh, towards the beginning of the second night. And also I'm getting the horn and I'm getting a lot of troops ready with upgrades and all that kind of stuff. So this is how I want to play. And now, um, optimally, ideally, I would like to know where Lily Black is already. But I just didn't have the time to scout that out. I remember I encountered her more at the west side, uh, towards the middle of the map during the uh, first night but it's not very promising it just means that she was on the run uh, so what i will do is at the beginning of the second night i will just attack one of the mines and i remember there was two guys at the bottom mine so i will hit there i think and now uh, ramping up the upgrades i'm getting the second armor upgrade because i have a lot of gold and it costs only gold and uh, i don't have much wood because the uh, archers they cost only wood but uh, ideally I would get the tier 2 archers here already but uh, I wasn't able to do that but uh, it's a bit of a luxury problem try to think of it as a benchmark if you get like 8 or 10 tier 2 archers already that's going to be very good now I'm hitting the top mines instead of the bottom mines uh, I think that is the, the wrong choice actually I should hit the bottom mines now that I look at the game again but just hitting one of the mines is the right thing to do now, uh, I was able to get a lot of ghouls, which was really good. So uh, I can spread them, uh, shift click, spam them around the minimap. And now here I find TL map and Soul Siren. And Soul Siren, as I told you, is not the strongest player, but it's a very cool guy. So usually in a spot like that, uh, right at the beginning of the second night, where I actually aimed for Lily, I would let Soul Siren live. However, that is the uh, advanced village, uh, the advanced werewolf guide, and I already got killed in the advanced villager guide, so I'm not handing out any more goodies this time. So we just chase uh, Soul Siren down. Uh, he could be running for a hide spot, but since we have the range units, those hide spots are not going to be very useful. So that was a nice early game boost we get now, uh, close to 500 wood. Maybe I can even get the tier 2 archers for the attack, now I will go for the upgrades instead, that's fine too. Doing some farming, doing some multitasking, now I don't find a single base here, which is weird, so I move right on to the next base, uh, to the bottom lines. Uh, now we find the boar, honestly, sometimes I feel like one raccoon or one uh, prize boar is more of a nuisance or much stronger of an opponent for me as werewolf than a lot of players because they can rage havoc in your base so i'm very allergic to that and instead of uh, allying the animals i just kill it with the militia i would recommend you doing the same or maybe keep one troop up at the base or at uh, at key locations where you are vulnerable just so that you can fight off the animals that could try to attack you uh, now here I make a mistake, which is I charge uh, right in with my dog without having the um, the fire gin anymore. Now I should talk about this too. At the beginning of the, at the end of the second day, I was at the middle shop so that dog could get fire gin. And so what you want to hit is you want to get some ghouls, you want to get range units, you want to have a strong wolf, and you want to have dog with fire gin at the beginning of the second night. Like that, you can rush down 
uh, maybe not kill, but significantly hurt and almost overwhelm even the strong players. So this is what I was trying to go for here. However, I did not find any of them because Lily uh, plays a bit of an unorthodox style in this game. Uh, she did not go to the mines. She could still be at the bottom lake, which is also very lucrative and uh, like a good strong base spot. Uh, but right now I'm just finding the map, so I'm trying to kill him and just get uh, something out of my uh, rushing troops instead. Now the second knight is uh, nearing its end already, which we see by uh, timber spawning. Now we did get his wife, we got his troops, uh, but unfortunately I did not get him. So now I think like, ah, oh, maybe he's hiding in here. So uh, I'm trying to uh, just kill the main building, but he's not here. He's playing uh, good in the sense that he's not keeping his villager at his base. And now, since I have the army here, uh, oh, I had to fire Jin on my villager, oh boy, that was a big mistake, of course, it should be on the dog. Uh, but it didn't really matter, because it did not get to the big showdown already, uh, so uh, I use it now to kill the dog. Now, this itself is bad, however, having the fire Jin here is actually quite good, because I want to be mining now, and I also want to be selling all of DL Maps crops. So, uh, I just need some additional protection, which is why I keep my army and everything here. In the meantime, my dog sells the crops from DL map, and I'm trying to get the armor up quickly, because I need that armor, more survivability, so you cannot be sniped easily as werewolf and can keep running away. Now here we find, ooh, level 15, that is quite high, it's Covenant already. So Covenant is uh, close to us, and I'm thinking about, okay, what should I do with this now? Well. I still have the fire chin and my range units here, and I have quite a lot of gold. Could trade in some to increase the tier, would be nice now. But more importantly, I want the health upgrade. I have one health upgrade already on the goons. I want another one as well. Hope I go for it now. Well, at least I increased the tier. And now I'm trying to attack uh, Covenant specifically. And I do this because I have the Molotov cocktail. So I can actually dare to take the fight. However, uh, in the meantime, they communicated with each other, which is nice. So the they, uh, Covenant or DL map told them that I am around here still, uh, keeping my troops and mining here. So somebody came to his help. I didn't see who it was yet. But what I see now is Covenant, he's trying to lure me into this space here, so that he can turn it into like a death trap. But uh, he's pretty low health already, so he better worry about his own skin. And now I see it, oh, that's what he's trying to do. But I have tons of range units here, and he basically trapped himself now, so that is very convenient for us. He's trying to run out, but that's just too much range units, bro. So yeah, now he got really fat. That, that was very convenient. He tried to trap us, but we didn't fall for it, so that was a good one. And now I'm trying to ramp up everything I have, use all of that gold as quickly as possible. Uh, someone killed my main building there, but not the other one, which is interesting. Wonder what happened there. Ah, okay, so it's Lily Black's dog coming after us. So I'm trying to quickly remake the tent. And just ramp, keep ramping up my army. I want to have it really strong now, because I have a good gold boost. Uh, of course, ramping up the crops also, just spending that gold quickly and uh, refreshing my woodworkers as well, because wood is my main resource. And now uh, I'm sending the archers around a little uh, in order to increase their veteran status. Uh, however, what I noticed is that once you increase the tier of your units, they lose their veteran status again. I think that's how it is, not 100% sure right now. Uh, but they're just saying, if you want to level them a little before you attack for the next knight, do not upgrade their tier, because then it was f uh, in vain. Uh, however, now we have tier 3 archers, and uh, 12 of them, and also some good upgrades. So uh, I'm feeling rather confident at this point. Um, yeah, let's see, what else could I focus on? I could start putting like two Elderflower aside, so that I uh, have an Invo Potion in the important spot. Uh, also, I lost my Jasmine somehow, I don't remember for what, but those things just happen. And now, again, um, my dog this time is equipped with the Fire Chain and Dynamite, so I'm feeling rather confident that I can crack up a base next night. Uh, preferably Lily Black's base, but I still don't know where she is. Um, 
so yeah, I, I'm also using the archers for scouting a little bit at this point, but I don't want to split them up because like that they would be too weak. Now here we encounter another army. I should quickly check what that is. Ah, oh, no, 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 I want to rush the armor instead. Having those 30 uh, iron is more important, and rightfully so, as you can see. It's almost at the beginning of the night already, so I quickly do what has to be done, because we're playing a bit better here. Um, so yeah, getting the armor, I, I didn't even have the time to look what is attacking my army there, because I just had to get the armor, and I had to trade in a lot of wood, because I cannot do this as a werewolf. And now that the night uh, approaches and I have done all of my stuff, I can focus on what's uh, bothering my army down here. And it is actually one uh, zombie and one knight army from another player who actually turns out to be quite decent. Maybe not one of the strongest ones, but uh, he's giving me a hard time. He's coming to the help. What's his name? Don Ivory. He's coming to the help of his fellow allies. Uh, so that's actually a stronger guy than I anticipated, uh, which makes the game cooler. Now we do have a lot of ghouls down here. Uh, I'm a bit concerned with spreading them, of course, doing the routine. You know how this works by now. Shift click spam spamming it and re-spamming it because I accidentally hit the middle. Uh, there are certain spots which you want to avoid. Uh, I don't think we have gone through all of them yet, but one is the middle with the gargoyles. You don't want to rally your ghouls over there. One is where the grunts could spawn, but they haven't spawned yet, otherwise I would have like this creep signal. One is where the pirates are down here, and one is where the treants are up here. I don't really want to rally my ghouls over there, unless it's uh, late, like the, the fifth night or something, where they are a little stronger, or they are a lot of them. Uh, only the acolytes right here you can uh, confidently kill with the ghouls. But the other spots I would avoid. Also, you don't want to send them right uh, into or close to the bases of the other guys. So when you know that they have bases there, don't just rally your ghouls or shift click spam those spots. Because then the ghouls will just die once they reach there. Okay, so now I see one guy is in the top passage. And one is at the bottom lake still. And one is at the waterfall base. So now I'm checking the uh, top passage, and now, ah, here I found something, and this is actually Lily Black's base. So that's a, a very interesting base, but I happen to like it more right now than I did uh, at the time of recording this video, just because it is where all of the mushrooms spawn, and that is really cool, um, because you can use it as an early game gold boost. And also, it just permanently increases your maximum hit point. You might get all of the uh, um, all of the magic mushrooms, which are super cool. So yeah, I like that spot, and you can also seed it off easily. Now, DL Map is trying to uh, throw throwing daggers at me, and that's just really not going to cut it at this point. So that that's not very good. But uh, we all have those weird plays sometimes, so not blaming him here. Uh, and now he's just trying to troll me as much as he can. Uh, because, you know, just building a building quickly because my werewolf can no longer fit through. And just trying to avoid me taking some time off of me. However, now he's making another mistake, which is he just keeps standing here thinking that I can't reach him. And while it is true that I cannot fit through the trees, I can actually hit him from here. So sorry, bro. Uh, but yeah, you can't deserve that one. Now this other guy is at the tier 3 archers by now and he's uh, he found my warehouse. So this is the economical part of my base which is going down now. So they have killed the first place where I built some buildings and the second one. Uh, so that is not so good for me. But still I'm very fat because I got another kill and now since I found Lily Black I can start focusing on her. But uh, her swordsmen are already on the second highest tier, so there is no more trying to snipe her early because we are out of that stage. Also, she tamed Timber, so my uh, number one priority is to kill Timber now. And uh, let's see, ah, I'm not able to do it at this point yet. And I see she's quite strong here, so I'm not trying to press the issue any further. But what is important right now is that I cannot kill her at once anymore with one big attack and I have to accept that fact. Instead I want to chop away at her slowly. So uh, just getting 
one objective getting enough which is like timber uh, at the beginning you want to kill that dog early and then she's a little weaker already and then another objective could be killing the wife uh, which means no more adolescent males and so on and so forth until uh, she just becomes a little weaker every time you attack her again permanently so to say uh, and then eventually you can kill her uh, but really uh, the first attack is not going to do it against such a strong player uh, unless you hit a very very good timing which could have been the beginning of the second night but since I missed that timing I cannot just uh, overwhelm her anymore now it is day and now this is going to be one of the most dangerous days for us because we lost our base we lost all of the sweet stuff uh, I still have some troops maybe but I don't find them so we lost the army as well and also there are still some players alive, I think three of them, and a lot of zombies are playing as well. So they are hunting me now and I have to be aware of that. So I have to play very cautiously now. I don't want to stay at one place for too long because they could espionage me already. I think it is day four, so espionaging is a real thing. And now what I have to do is I have to open up some key parts of the map which I can use as escape routes. This is why I'm buying Whim of the Druid and uh, buying more of them so that I have some on the dog and some on the villager. And now my dog just goes and opens up some parts. Like that right here is a good part to open up. Wherever you see uh, just one tree that you could cut down and that means you already get access to a different part of the map. That is a good part, a good place to use Whim of the Druid. So I'm trying to preemptively open up some spots now. Also, there are still some plants here. But yeah, I, I don't want to stay here any longer. I've been here for long enough already. I need to change places quickly. And also, what you can do is you can just uh, build a fire. And you don't have to actually finish it. You just start building it. And that means you have vision at that place already. The vision range of the fire, even when it is built, as you can see right here, is quite big. Ah, oh, um, I could have talked about this earlier already when i was finishing my armor mining at the top i built the fire or i just started it so that i get a bit of a heads up notice when they want to attack me um and so this is also what i can do right here oh we just passed the zombie and i passed the army of don ivory so i don't want to go here anymore instead i go down here oh now i run into the zombie stun so they are coordinating themselves right now they must be trying to uh, surround me and uh, push me into a corner so this is exactly how you use the whim of the druid you open up another part of the map and you replant the tree behind you so now uh, they basically they might still know where you are or where you have gone but they cannot follow you there anymore unless they have like a dog or another villager who also has whim of the druid right behind you uh, it can also happen that they just keep chasing you down there but this is one of the best ways to try and escape now I'm going into the southern part of the map here and this southern part can actually be kind of a death trap. So if you are a werewolf, do not just go down here because uh, there is like one end, just like the top passage, there is like one entrance at uh, the left side or the west side and there is one entrance at the east side and if they have troops on both sides what you're gonna do so what you're gonna do is you have a, um, a part of the map opened up like that one here so that you can escape if they try to surround you here so this is also where i want to rebase now because i'm feeling comfortable uh, just staying here for a while uh, because if they come i can just escape and replant the tree also having the pack horse on the other side is convenient because like that i know if uh, they are trying to cut my escape path there as well so yeah i hope i can uh, replant the blacksmith and the war tower towards the end of the day now this would be a good um a good little objective to achieve uh, because then throughout the night i could respread my i could uh, respawn my troops that would be really good meanwhile the dog tries to open up some other parts of the map like here is a good one as well and the pack horse is buying another dynamite and uh, fire gin just to have some shenanigans the fire gin is not really strong at this point anymore uh, because the the troops are already highly upgraded so they are not really hurt anymore but two of them can do something still and now right before the day 
uh, and Lily Black finds, or probably she espionaged, and finds where my uh, army buildings are. And she even attacked me through the, uh, the tree that I cut down. So that is pretty good. Now here I have to be a bit worried, like, uh oh, where I'm gonna go? They might. I don't want to go to the tunnels because the tunnels are another death trap where they can just position their troops. So a good place to go now is go here, where you have another tree you can cut down, open up a different part of the map. And now I spawn, and now I see, okay, it's just two guys left. Unless there is one hiding in his uh, main building, then I don't actually get the scent of him with the smelling ability. Uh, uh, but f as for now, I just see, okay, Lily Black, which is the strongest player, is left. And this other guy, who also played pretty decently, he was giving me a hard time, Don Ivory, I think. Uh, he's also left. So now I'm going for Don Ivory first, because that means I only have to face one villager and some zombies anymore. And uh, I think uh, this is just the right way to play, because still uh, I will have more than one knight to kill Lily Black, even if all the others are gone. Now what I'm trying to do now is get the zombies, because the, every zombie you kill is less of a risk to be stunned, and those stuns can be crucial if uh, they want to kill you as a werewolf. So you have to kill every zombie three times, and then they don't stand up anymore. Now here I see Don Ivory's army, but it's only his army, and he has the highest tier soldiers, I believe, but not the highest tier um, knights and no range units. So with my level 16 werewolf, I can actually fight this. In fact, I see he's hiding in his base and he's super weak. So yeah, this uh, makes it a lot easier for me. A bit of an unexperienced from him showing right there. Uh, so I'm glad I killed him because he had uh, an annoying army to deal with. Now for the rest of the night, I can start chopping away at Lily Black, uh, but my level 17 werewolf is not really going to cut it. Uh, she went for uh, the soldiers, however, which is good because I went for the range units, but in terms of defense and in terms of damage output on werewolf, it is not that good. So yeah, I'm trying to get in here, and if she had the range units, she could shoot away on me now, but since she doesn't, I can uh, actually cut down that wall. And I'm trying to come here from the other side, plant a fire tree, just be a little bit annoying, create a true prompt aggression, so to say. So we got the uh, door open. Now I can try to meet some objectives. First, you have to kill the scarecrow, because if the scarecrow is up, uh, everything else is just useless. Now I got the wife, so that is super nice. That is one long-term objective reached. And I don't want to overstretch it, because the zombies might be on the way. And I want to play it out safely, so I just retreat. And I try to come in from the other side. Oh, and I find the timber. So I might actually get timber here, which would be very nice. Ah, prowling in is a bit risky, but uh, still I got it. Okay, good. And now here from the other side comes DL map already. So I'm trying to get out, and he didn't get the stun. Maybe because he just placed it. Oh, but he just... Uh, he zoned me out there, which was nice, but then I got in again. So now I'm just trying to kill DL map again, because I remember killing him already. So that means if I kill him now, he's on his last zombie life. Ah, but he's protected. So not trying to press the issue here. We got a lot done this night. We killed the last uh, um, remaining villager, Don Ivory, which was not Lily. And we killed Lily's um, wife and the timber. So this was really, really good. And now the day comes again. And this is again um, a bit of a... How should I say? A bit of a frightening phase for me to play now. However, at this point I am playing a winning game. Even though I don't have uh, any base or any army or really anything. Except for my dog who has been a very loyal fellow this game. Uh, opening up a lot of spots, buying the right stuff. Except for Fire Gin, I'm a bit over eager to buy those in this game. Uh, just in retrospect, uh, they're not really worth the call it anymore. I think I'm just buying them for some sort of distraction or whatever. Uh, but really I shouldn't buy, buy them anymore at this point. Now I'm using the lighthouse just so that I can spend the gold uh, without having to stick to one place for too long as I would have to with farming. So that is very nice. And now I want to get more whims on my villager. Come on. Give them to the villager. Or not. Uh, in any case, I just want to keep running. 
and Lily just has to throw espionages to track me down now. And together with the zombies, uh, I think she still has like three zombies working for her, uh, she could still pin me down. But it's very hard because those espionages are expensive and you cannot uh, just permanently use them if you're just one villager. So at this point, I'm pl trying to play it out safely. So that means getting more jasmine. Oh, here we find Lily. And... Ooh, did I manage to get through? Oh, nice, nice. So the camera wasn't uh, on her villager. That was lucky for me. Now I am trading in some wood for gold. Ah, so that I can uh, use um, the canopy tent. I use this mainly for leveling now. I'm level 18. And uh, with hunting, you can just level on the go pretty good. And as I already said, I don't want to stay at one place. I want to be playing the running game at this point because it's just the safest. And the lighthouse is very good for that and hunting also. And also spreading the fires, of course. Though you, remember, you don't have to finish them, just plant them so you know what's going on at those key places where they could try to intercept you. Now, having a, a war tower would be super nice, but uh, I just don't have the time to think about that right now. Now, Lily is after me, and she's fast, uh, but I'm almost as fast. I just don't have the boots. Uh, I just resummoned my dog for some distraction there, which is nice. And I already have a spot prepared to escape, and I can replant the tree here. And now this means I escape safely, because apparently she doesn't have the tree there. Uh, <laughs> I remember uh, playing against Vagabond one time, and I tried to escape through exactly that tree, doing the exact same thing. However, uh, he also had a whim of the druid, so he just kept on running after me. So yeah, you have to expect them to just uh, get after you even with this little whim trick, but it just makes it harder for them and they don't really, um, they can't have it all of the time. So that's good. Now again, I'm trying to get some jasmine and I think this will be my objective for the end of the day now, which is uh, just have the speed potion in case Lily gets on my heels again so that I have something else to escape. Now the reason um, why I'm finishing the fire first is because you have to fin you have to upgrade the fire into a cauldron, and from the well you can get what you need right away, which is the spring water. So now uh, I'm barely able to finish it, just as the day dusks again. So that is very nice. We get our speed potion. Uh, every speed potion requires one separate inventory slot, so having one is more than enough. And now the, it's night again, and I see uh, Lily has kind of abandoned her base, so I assume she rebased somewhere, but instead of that I try to focus on the zombies again, because every zombie you kill uh, is a good zombie, uh, speaking from the werewolf's perspective. And the strongest uh, threat in this case you just want to take on last when all of the other threats have been eliminated because then you have much uh, easier of a time. So did he already turn to ashes? I did not remember. But certainly one less life for Soul Siren as well. Now I'm checking up here and I see DL map. I think he also has two lives still. So yeah, I'm chopping away at the zombies now. I'm jumping ahead a little bit here. Because at this phase of the game, it might not be all that exciting to watch anymore. Um, because the important things have already been done. And at this point, again, we're playing a winning game. We just have to play it out safely. Okay, so DL map has one more life left. That is good to know. And I think Soul Siren was the other zombie that was still around. So yeah, I'm still a little bit confused at this point as to why she just abandoned her base because I did not expect to be able to crack it yet. Now I use the smell ability and I see, aha, she retreated into the wolf cave with a lot of troops. So she wants to hunt me down one more time. Ah, she has the debuff as well. Okay, so that makes sense. Now here she wants, uh, she's able to make uh, a stand, of course. And then at the next day she wants to hunt me down one more time. And if she doesn't manage to do that, I think then the game is pretty much over at this point. So the day comes near again. I'm trying to be in a good position for the running game. And now we're just doing the running game again. 
Let's see if I can use some copyrighted music. And I don't have uh, a whim of the druid, which is a bit of a blunder, but I do have the transmutability, so now I can start selling her troops, that's pretty cool. And the dog has to immediately pick up some uh, whims now, but that's not going to work out very well when I send him right through her army, but it's more important to keep the villager alive. Unfortunately, she kills what I had left of my base, so she still must have had some gold for espionage. Oh, and she's on my heel again, so I'm trying to do what DL map just did, but it didn't work. Uh, but I do have the speed potion, and I do have the armor, so I'm pretty confident she can't kill me, at least not with her villager alone. Um, now, I have to suspect she has spear shot, so she could stun me anytime. And now I just bought off the whims of the druid, hoping that she didn't have some before, because then she can't buy some her own. And she knows what's happening now, so she, I don't know, still following me. So yeah, let's see. I have to just try to escape somehow now. Oh, this is not how it's going to work. So yeah, I'm going through that spot here that I prepared. And now I also get the plus two boots for even more running, yoohoo. Ah oh, yes, um, what is important at this stage of the game is you want to have your dog uh, alive at the beginning of the night. Because otherwise I could not use Wim of the Druid anymore. And that means she could just stall the game in that cave where I cannot reach her with the werewolf. So you need to have whim of the you need to have the dog alive. So it is smart to not actually uh, get him just when the night is about to start. You recall him so that he is alive for sure, and then you give your whim to him. Oh, and as you can see now, here comes the dog. She also wanted to buy some whims, and uh, I'm glad she wasn't able to kill the dog. So yeah, being mindful of that, how important the dog is at this stage of the game is important. Now I wonder if there are any more zombies on the map or if it's just her. Yes, there is still map. And we remember he only had one life left, so snatching him... Oh, and there is Soul Siren. Okay, so there was two zombies still. Hmm, hope I can get both of them. So that is one turn to ashes. And another one, maybe two, might give us level 25. Yes, that is the second turned to ashes. Good, good. And now it's just Lily without any zombies. So all of her tools have been gradually taken away. And this is how you have to defeat the strongest players. You cannot just try to attack them right away. You would die and it would look stupid. And I'm glad it all worked out for me because this was in no way an easy game. However, there is still the army alive, but since we have the whim of the druid, we can now make a nice little opening for our level 25 werewolf, and that one is going to have a blast. And now at this point, I'm actually trapping her units with the ghouls from the other side. So now getting the army, that is pretty cool. And just, uh, yeah, the attack spread is more trying to look for the villager now. Also, keep in mind, if you have a level 25 werewolf, you can immediately cull all of your ghouls to get a huge strength boost. However, all of your ghouls are down then. This is what you can use like a last minute resort if they have trapped you and you just need some more survivability, some more strength. Then keep in mind, as level 25 wolf, you can cull all of your ghouls. So that is really good. And now Lily Black has abandoned her brothers and left the game. Uh, she didn't call GG and I can't really blame her because it, it was a bit of an annoying way of how I played. But again, that's just how I had to do it. And how to show you to uh, make an advanced werewolf run. Uh, nonetheless, I think we played it out really good, really safe however. But it all worked out. 
uh, with some fortune on our side, of course, as you always need when you're playing some strong players as a werewolf. Uh, so yeah, I hope you could learn from this and you had uh, fun watching the last part of this little guide series. I certainly had a lot of fun watching it. And uh, if it helps uh, keeping the game going a little and getting some more strong players hooked into it, I think I have fulfilled my mission. And from now on, perhaps I will focus my energies on trying to provide some of the models for the actual uh, werewolf game that's coming up. Trying to make some CG stuff. Let's see if I can do it. And uh, I hope to serve the game and the community like that because I really want this to have a standalone. So yeah, um, hope you liked it too and see you soon in a werewolf lobby. Bye bye.